the greatest manga slash masterpiece that will never be adapted into an anime. Dog nigga. Now, what is dog nigga, you might ask? Dog nigga, or dog ningen, ningen translating to human or humanoid in Japanese, is a manga that follows the main character by the name of Rex Wisconsin. Rex is a half-man, half-dog, as created when a drunk old man forces himself on a stray female dog in the streets, thus creating Rex. Because of Rex's unusual appearance, he is deemed a freak and is rejected by society. Because of this, Rex builds up a lot of hate and resentment towards his father, who cursed him into this world of no acceptance. So one day, he's going to find his father, that man, and rape him. Now, I know what you're all thinking. That is the most hardcore shit I've ever heard. And you're right. Rex Wisconsin is probably the most badass main character in all of fiction. He's got a clear goal and he's not going to let anything get in his way. He laughs at the idea of giving up. He's got hands. And confidence in himself to take down all of his opponents. He is truly inspirational. And the main character we've been looking for to resonate in our hearts for years. Now, the fights. Rex is a fucking beast. He's a master at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he'll turn the fuck up whenever he needs to or wants to. There are times where he goes absolutely crazy or insane. The writer does a good job balancing skill, making the fights interesting and engaging. All his opponents are really, really strong. They really have you on the edge of your seat every single time. Like, look at this. This nigga bit this nigga's sword on some One Punch Man shit. Anyways, going back. On top of the stunning plot that holds such an importance to the modern day, and the struggles of social outcasts, the author really knows how to form amazing backstories and mold amazing side characters. You really feel for the characters and what they go through in their backstories, and are touched by the emotional moments in this series. I'll admit, I cried. Many times throughout reading this masterpiece, and it's only getting started. As I'm recording this, there's currently only 4 volumes, 19 chapters in total, but it's currently ongoing. Let me tell you, the level of quality already in this manga is insane. Will all of our questions be answered? Will Rex finally rape his father? What is the main antagonist cat bitch's plan? How far will Rex and Neo's friendship go? Will Rex be betrayed down the line? Honestly, I'm hooked. I'm saddened because the series is not simply getting as gassed up as it should be. It's amazing. I really suggest this to anyone who likes series like Chainsaw Man, Berserk, Tokyo Ghoul, Monster, Gantz, Jujutsu Kaisen, Blade of the Immortal to check this manga out. And you might think I'm crazy, but in my opinion, this easily tops them all. All in all, I think the series is amazing and ahead of its time. Nothing short of a 10 out of 10. I read all 19 chapters upon finding the manga. I even purchased myself a physical copy. Sadly, there is one reason why I do not think this manga will truly ever get the attention and shine it deserves, nor will it ever go through the adaptation process to become an actual anime. And that reason is simply because Rex is just too real. He's too badass, and he's too amazing of a guy for you to lay your eyes upon. Dog Nigga will make you hype, it will make you cry, it will make you laugh, it will make you feel. And I think the anime world just isn't ready for that. Guys, there's a fucking school shooter arc, and I mean, look at this fucking panel. It's fucking beautiful. If you don't want to read it after seeing this, I don't know what to tell you. If you enjoyed this video, you do not need to like, comment, or subscribe, but please, read Dog Nigga. Share Dog Nigga with your friends and your family. I know I'm going to be pulling out my physical volume of Dog Nigga everywhere I go and being like, hey, you need to check this shit out. Also, join the Dog Nigga Discord. Link in the description below.